Silvani looks like he's starting at full back. Just where he should be, too. Jim. We get underway here with umpire Steve McBurney. Allen comes in on white. The ball back into the centre circle. It's a real scrap on the cricket pitch area. Nobody's got a possession out of there yet, and the umpire will have to ball it up again. Melbourne players on the bench. James McDonald. Yeah, the bench here, James McDonald, Russell Robertson, Daniel Ward and Troy Simmons. Goes Carlton's way, but it comes to Viney. His kick back into the pack. Bounces back and favours uh, Melbourne. And they work it out. Phoebe, back to Uze. He's spun on the tackle. You're holding the ball. Sensational tackle by Brett Ratton, who had 35 possessions last week. He kicks out wide. It's all Carlton out here. Beaumont. 70 metres from goal. Breeze at his back. He goes wider to the pocket. White, just inside the 50. Adam White. We have Jeff White for Melbourne, Adam White for Carlton. White kicks from 51 metres to the top of the square. Whitnell holds his man down. And Hamill marks. Yeah, interesting play already. I think uh, Melbourne, if you, if you have a look at here, Hamill just got free seat camp his opponent. Just let him go, and there was fighting in the goal square, and Shanahan and none of them could get near it. Good, good shepherding there from the um, count forwards. So Aaron Hamill will be kicking for goal from right in front for his 11th goal of the season. And a good start for the Blues. What's really interesting to start now is they've put Silvani to full back, which is a so let's sort of Whitnell giving Hamill a bit more responsibility. Uh, Murphy is also down in the forward line and Lappin. So, you know, a different setup this week, Drew. Is this legal what Whitnell does here to Shanahan? Oh, I think I think you can do it. If you, you can sort of stand, put your body in the way once it doesn't look like obvious shepherding. Well, a great start to the Blues and a good move to have Silvani. He's the best fullback of the century, apparently, and that's where he should play. And Hamill's always looked as though he'd make a full forward. Now, here's a free kick in the centre of the ground. I'll go to Matthew Allen. Now, he's got loose players wide and a couple of worrying signs from Melbourne early with Carlton players getting on their own. Here's Anthony Francina, the chip pass in towards the original area. Waiting over the back is Tingay. Quick hands to Viney. Now to Hopgood, it's a wobbly kick to the centre of the ground, but it's a good one, under Matthew Phoebe. Now Adam Uze, straight up the middle of the ground, that's a good kick, Schwartz couldn't quite hang on to it. Ragoni went in very, very hard. Now Brent Gergic, off the side of the boot, and he's put it out in the full, he's not happy with himself. So that was a costly miss there, Peter. Just got to take those opportunities, you're inside about 30 metres out. Ragoni really ran hard at the ball there, gave us... Uh, Team had a good opportunity of a kick for goal. Now Andrew McKay brings it wide and he finds uh, Anthony Kudafidis. Rondi Ulio from half back brings it into the half forward area. Whitnell and Ingerson, that'll be a terrific contest. Lappin went to the hand pass. Ingerson to White, he looks for a further hand pass. It's a poor one. Nelson gives it off. Now Beaumont, now the dangerous Camparelli. He races in the goal, steps him low for another one to the Blues. What a start for Carlton, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a start. I think uh, I would say that Melbourne are just a little bit frazzled because they weren't too sure who was going to start where and they didn't get the matchups they were looking for. And they're just needing some time to settle down. They're not getting it. And a couple of bad hand passes in the middle. One went astray and one went to a guy who was covered. Yeah, yeah, you just can't do that, particularly at the start of a game. You've got to be very, very conservative. You've got to get the ball going forward. But Camparelli, great start for him. Back in the middle with Carlton, two goals on the board. Melbourne yet to score. Gergic had a shot for goal for the Ds, but put it out of bounds on the full. White beats Allen this time, but it slightly goes Carlton's way. It's tough in the clinches in the middle. Just barreled forward by the Ds. Kudafidis for Carlton, slides out the hand pass and gets it back from Allen. Kudafidis is kicked, beautiful. Whitnell needs to have a good game. He gets it back, Lappin, right in front, Hamill. There's just too much space around the ground. Carlton was just moving forward, having players finding space, and uh, 
not much you can do if you don't win the ball in the middle. And also their intensity in the in the packs yeah. there is just sensational for Carlton. They really got in there. There are lots of players. It, it, it was like scrum footage there. And, and eventually they got it out through Kudafidis. And isn't it good to see young Hamill leading straight up the middle, not out to the flanks, right up the middle. Now he's got an easy shot. That's right good. in front, just over 40 metres out. And he's hooked it left. Should have kicked it. Absolutely, straight in front from there. You've got to kick them. And particularly when you've got someone like a Shanahan on Hamill, they've been forced to move Seacamp. You know, you really want to put Melvin under pressure. And Jimmy, the Carlton bench are Hickmont, Pierce, uh, Glenn Manton, and Darren Hume. Well, that's a pretty strong bench for the Blues. Here's Stephen Phoebe driving it low. No. Oh, they both waited for each other. Two Melbourne players. Ragoni could have got a free kick. Leon Challey, Ingerson. Now, Matthew Phoebe driving it to the half forward line. Schwartz at the back. Kudafidis, too good. Well played, Kudafidis. That was very good play. Beaumont gives it on to McKay. They're playing with confidence, the Blues. He goes wide to Murphy. It's smothered off the boot. Down towards White. White goes wide again to Murphy. Gee, they're looking good, the Blues. He centres it. In towards Whitmer, who flies. Oh, he almost marked that. And the Melbourne players try to crash through the pack. It's a loose ball. Camparelli a chance. Oh, how will the umpire see that? Holding the ball, a good decision because he ducked the head and tried to beat the pack. Yeah, last time he tried that, though, he kicked one of the best goals of the weekend. Cleared out of defence by Steve Phoebe. On the bounce, comes off Bradley. Bradley good enough to regain it. What a player, Craig Bradley. And the pass to centre-half forward is magnificent. Whitmill. And this is... Uh, it's it's a really good start for Whitnell. You know, he's on a bit of pressure, hasn't had good form. I think he's only kicked 10 goals for the season. And uh, But already tonight, or today, he's, he started off on fire and was unlucky not to get paid that mark just before. Yes, in eight games this year, he's kicked 10 goals, nine. So not what the Blues want from him. They want a straight kick right here. Hamill had a similar kick a while ago and missed. Whitnell gets it there. Well, what we got here is Melbourne just got to go and attack the footy. They've got to stop worrying about opponents and who they've got to man up and who they're tagging or whatever, and they've really got to get the ball forward. Swartz needed to apply a bit more pressure and not let Kudafidis take such an easy mark in their back line. But already, Bradley getting away there is a bit, bit lucky, but they've got to turn it around. They're three goals down. Well, Carlton the 19 points, the Demons yet to score. White beaten to it by Allen. Fraser Brown tries to press his way through the pack. Still with the ball, get gains about 20 metres. White went in after it. Now Uze latches onto a loose ball, bends it back. Oh, I couldn't quite get there, Matthew Phoebe. Here's Bradley, the evergreen. Over to Beaumont. He gives it off. He was looking for Andrew McKay, who gets a very favourable bounce. He sprints clear and drives it back into that danger area at half forward. Whitnell couldn't mark. Ingerson was there. Hopgood tried to give it off. Now Camparelli was caught a little bit high, but the umpire will come in and bounce it just inside 50. Jim, you mentioned intensity. Cart was just fantastic this uh, first uh, five or six minutes. Uh, they just want to win this game early, and, uh, and the way they're doing it, uh, they're going quite well. Yeah, and Danaher would be very, very disappointed with the way Melbourne have started, particularly after the way they finished last week. Well, there's Hamill giving it off to Fraser Brown. He bends it back, a one-on-one -on -one contest. Two, oh, he's dropped the mark lap, and he had Walsh completely out of position. Oh, he should have marked that. Now, isn't that, isn't that holding the ball? If he's f fallen over and he's pulled the ball back in, shouldn't that be... I think it more on this... I know what you mean, Jim, but I think it might have bounced into his hands. Oh, he might have hooked it in. Let's have a look. Out. Hooked it in. Yes, he did hook it in. And now over the boundary line in the forward pocket. Well, Demons have been shell-shocked by this start by the Blues, whose last appearance at Optus Oval at the home ground for Carlton. They were belted by 50 by Geelong. Comes down to Lee and Chelly, front of the pack. He clears the 50, but only just taken by Adam White. Off to Franchino, the short pass in, and uh, they're getting a lot of the ball in the forward line. On the turn, Nelson. Great kick! Got it! Well, that's the sort of kick. That's the sort of kicking for goal that any team wants. 4-1. 
Well, what I'm watching here is Shanahan's been dragged out. Hamill is just pulling Shanahan out from the full back line, and I reckon if he had been in there on the goal line, he would have actually got his hand to it and stopped it going through. It was a great long kick outside 50. Doesn't get much better than that, Drew. Well, a desperate stage now for Melbourne. They're down by four goals, one. A great goal on the turn by Nelson. Now, they both know well, Ellen and Vince have got a quick little touch to it. A pack of players come in, but the umpire will bounce it. But they would need to get the next... They wouldn't want Carlton to get a six or seven goal break or the game could be all over. Just already in this quarter, Carlton have had it inside 57 times to Melbourne's only one. And, and Gurgic had and that, that shot. So Todd Viney and Fraser Brown picking up each other. White, or oh, free kick against White to Allen. Advantage paid to Fraser Brown. He brings it in towards full forward. Shanahan using his body. Ingerson is there, heading it back towards Shanahan, who you would think, oh, good play there by Whitnell. Now Hamill, back it comes. Lappin from the boundary line has kicked it across the face. Tingay fought for that one with Nelson and it's forced over the line but it's all Melbourne at the moment worrying sign for the Demons or all Carlton you mean it's all Carlton, uh, yeah. for Carlton I should say boundary throw in Brown stays at the back oh beautiful hand pass this should be a goal and is another one of the Blues terrific by Brown goal to Lappin this is exactly the start that Carlton have been looking for and to get Brown back in the side, you can really see that Brown could have feared his two players they've really missed, and already they've had an effect on the game. But Lappin, just a beautiful uh, little handball out there, left foot, didn't have much room, under a bit of pressure, just squeeze it in. Carlton have had five individual goal kickers, and it's really getting to a desperate stage now. Melbourne. Been very, very ordinary. White went high. Allen was in there after it. Now Schwartz. And the umpire will come in and bounce. But Melbourne it, just not getting the ball out of these no. bounces. He, Normally White can get the ball long or he can have an impact, but he just hasn't had an impact in these contests yet. Yeah, Matthew Allen's been just terrific matching him in height there. Well, let's see this one. Well, Allen again, well, just hooked it back with the left hand. Right in the middle of the ground. Franchina is there against Viney. Viney working hard to get it forward. Waiting for it was Bradley. There's some strong work from behind for the Demons. Might have been Schwartz coming from behind. The Carlton bench coming up. Yeah, and we see uh, still on the bench, Hume, Manton, Brad Pierce, and uh, Adrian Hickmont. Uh, very strong bench, as you mentioned before, Peter. Thank you, Dipper. And the Carlton side certainly looks stronger this week. With Brown and Kudafidi's back, and Allen's doing well at those bounces. There's Viney. Quick kick was by Longmuir. Here's a chance, and the mark has been taken. A clever mark playing in front of Gergic, and he will kick from 15 metres. And boy, do they need this one, Jim. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just getting back to you, Anil, uh, uh, Matty Allen and the White contest. White's got to play away from him and try and jump, use his leap. Allen's just too strong. So Brent Gergic coming back from a hamstring injury from directly in front, pops it through. Well, that's an understatement to say they needed a goal, Jim. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and Gurgic, I watched him last week playing in the reserves, had a very good game, and it's come straight back up. But, yeah, he, 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 they've really got to get some more presence in the middle of the ground and around these contests, Melbourne. But good play there by Gurgic playing in front, getting that quick kick out of the pack. Left Silvani for dead. Interesting, Jimmy, when uh, Gurgis kicked that goal. I mean, only one uh, Melbourne player went up and said, well done. If they need some confidence, they need two or three players just to push them along. Yeah, good point. Well, it took Melbourne 14 minutes to get their first score, and it's a centre square infringement. Carlton free kick to go to Allen. Two coaches just, would hate that. Oh, just undisciplined, that sort of play. Whitnell on the lead. Good mark. And this boy has been under pressure in the opening two months of the season, but he started today well. He's playing on a very good play in Ingers, and he, he, he's, he's had a good season so far. Kept some big players out of the game. Lance Whitnell playing his 49th career game today. Unloads with a big one, gets it to the line. Off Hamill it goes through for a minor score. On Ingerson, uh, Jim, I, saw, I interviewed him after the game last week. Didn't realise how tall he was. He'd have to be six foot four. Yeah, he's six he's foot four. Huge. Strong, he's very strong. Good upper body. 
Do you reckon players are tall from where you look? What, what do you reckon they look like to me? <laughs> this way, Woden bring it down towards the half four line. Farmer is there. Let's see if it bounces for him. McKay's a good player. Schwartz trying to give off a hand pass. He does so. This is Matthew Phoebe. Oh, good dodge and weave, but it was an ordinary kick. Down it comes to Leon Chelly. Now Longmuir. Now Schwartz. He's kicking for Melbourne second. It swings back. Oh, good kick. He's got it. Well, Melbourne have replied, Jim, with two quick ones. Yeah, and that's particularly David Swartz kicks a lot of his goals from around the 50-metre line, particularly this year. And last week, as we said at the start of the game, down on form, but just stayed in the, in the play here. And he, as you can see, right foot, not a problem. 48 metres out, and just squeeze it in on the left post. But really, it's a game. He two points last week, didn't, didn't even get a major. So this is the game that Swartz really needs to lift in. Well, it has been a bit of a comeback by the D's in the last couple of minutes. Two goals in a row. Allen wins uncontested. Tingay charges through. He's going to get a free kick for a high tackle. He get... came through strong there, didn't he? Whoa. Well, they get another quick one. They're way back, right back in it, aren't they? Out in front of Ragoni being run down by Ratton. Ragoni tries to centre it. Gergic and uh, Silvani drag down. Free kick Silvani. Well, the umpire's ruled against the forward there, and the full back gets the free. Steve Silvani has played at both ends of the ground this year. Wouldn't have surprised to see him line up at full forward, but here he is at full back on Gergi. Kicks close to the boundary line and out. So a poor kick by the fullback of the century. David Schwartz a long, long way out. That Gary Hardiman in the background there, former uh, Melbourne champ. Good little short that kick. That was a there. great kick, Pete, on the boundary line. Just a terrific high to kick that one. Well, this guy can really thump a ball. He's kicking into the breeze. He'll have to kick at 55, but he is a very, very long kick. So he had Longmuir there on his own. Seems like Bradley sort of playing as a loose man in the back line, which gives Melbourne a free man, and Longmuir just ran in forward. And if he had been quicker, Ragoni he could have picked his teammate out. Well, let's see if he lets me down. He is a thumping kick, Ragoni. Look oh. at that. That is long. Is that a goal? That is a great kick. Woo. Well, I, I nominated him as a great kick. He is a thumping kick. And when he went back to line it up, Jimmy yeah. was confident. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I thought he'd made a mistake by not finding a teammate. But, gee, and he, and he kicked from about 55 out there, too. What a call that was by Pete. Well, well he should know something about goal kicking. He's the longest kick in that Melbourne side. Oh. And it shows there's not much of a breeze blowing against because Nelson kicks one outside 50 as well on the other end. Well, we're back in the middle. Carlton kicked the first five goals of the game, and Melbourne the last three. There's a blood rule here, and uh, good. Hopgood coming off the ground with blood. It gives us a chance, Dipper, to come down to you. Is the breeze not as strong as it was at the start well, of the game? Well, when we first started, uh, Drew, it was uh, blowing down. I thought about two or three goal breeze. As Jimmy said, it has died down the last two or three minutes, and uh, when uh, when the Melbourne players kicked that goal, it was just a terrific goal into uh, what seems, uh, you know, a very even. Uh, sort of quarter down here as far as the breeze is concerned yeah you'd, you'd never kick one that far into a two goal breeze you'd reckon that was a thumping kick because when it blows down here it certainly does it comes across the ground it'd be interested to see Camparelli I think he was being picked up by Hopgood Hopgood usually tags and uh, we got James well, Daniel Ward's now picking on. him up uh, Sea Camp has come off the ground Daniel Ward's now on Camparelli as they uh, change now as we speak we've got James McDonald on him now uh, back in the middle, quite a hold up after the goal with the blood rule. Allen wins again. Comes down to Wo Woden, across to Leoncelli. Out of the centre square. Matthew Phoebe run down by his opponent, Bradley. Ball on the deck, grabbed by Murphy. Bradley again. And the umpire's going to ball it up. It's pretty tight. So we have a game of football now. After 12 minutes, it was a one-way street. And the umpire was very good then. A player had no, Matthew Phoebe had no chance of getting rid of that ball as the umpire deliberated. White and Allen again. Well, they both missed it, but White gave out a wide hand pass looking for Tingay. Tingay in turn gives it off to McDonald. James McDonald fires in a goal. Oh, started to swing back like Drew Morford's draw shot and goal and hit the post. Yeah, that's the sort of impact you want when a player comes on the ground. Kick a goal and he's just a little bit unlucky there, James McDonald. But Tingo's been terrific for the last three or four minutes. We saw he come through the middle. He's had a lot of strength in that middle there. And they're working a lot harder in the middle now, uh, uh, Dipper, Melbourne. 
You shouldn't get my draw shot confused with a <laughs> duck hook. McKay up short of centre wing. Uh, Mark Franchina at ground level. His hand pass is blocked. Oh, Alan. Uh, Sexton, rather. Ball hacked up towards centre wing. Shanahan a long way up the ground. He centres. Mark juggled but dropped by Viney. Kuda feet is over the top of him to block the ball in and listen to the Carlton fans. So you talk about the centre, who really did this game today, I reckon, really will depend on how the centre players are playing for both teams. You see here Viney getting in, he's strong Viney. <laughs> Gee. Well, David Parkin loves to talk about the one percenters. That was a 50-50 ball and uh, Kuda made sure it was going nowhere. Tingay just gets the hand pass away. Leon Chelly. Whistle's gone. Did the umpire rule a throw? Yes. Carlton free kick. Well, that could have been 50 metres. I thought Leon Chelly was stiff not to have got a free kick for holding the man in the first place. Yes. So the free to be taken by Nelson. So Ben Nelson, just before this, Leon Chelly was being held. Now the kick down to full forward and White is the leader. He will kick from 50 metres. He's waiting for someone to chip in short. Should not kick from just inside 50 with the breeze at his back. Adam White. He's another player park, and I see uh, in an interview during the week said that players like White, Beaumont, Whitnell, and uh, Hamill had to really lift their game this week. Well, he's kicking from almost directly in front. That's a beautiful style. Right through the middle. So another one to the Blues. They've kicked their sixth. And they've had uh, six individual goal kickers, Melbourne. So it's six-two, in fact, playing three-one. And if you look at the players that Parker did mention, you know about the middle, sort of middle of the wrong players having to lift. Well, they all have Whitmills already started well. So is Beaumont. So and Aaron, Ham Aaron Hamill. So they've obviously uh, got the spray and learned yep. from it and moved on. Well, there have been no, nine goal scorers in the game. Nine different goal scorers. Balled up. White timed his leap better. Comes to Franchina. He kicks into the man. Bounces off to Leon Celli. Diving attempt in front. Unsuccessful by Diulio. McKay sweeps up at the back and kicks towards centre wing and out. He's had a good matchup, uh, Jimmy. Diulio picking up Farmer. Yeah, well, he's done that in the past last year. Diulio did. Now, some people thought that Franchina might pick him up today, but they've started with Diulio and Farmer. I don't think he's had touched the ball yet. He hasn't. No. Boundary throw in. Hamill's there to apply the tackle. Down goes Hopgood, who's back after the blood. And Brown at the foot of the pack. But while I say he mightn't have touched the ball yet, it doesn't mean he won't. Farmer's that sort of player that in five minutes can kick two or three goals. Twice this year, he's kicked bags of six. But in between, he can be uh, strangely quiet. He's kicked 20 goals, 16 for the season, with two sixes in there. Umpire Harvey says that ball's held in. Camparelli, a teammate of yours in Ireland last year, Jim. Yeah, yeah, we Went had a wrong. great trip away, and he, yeah, he played very well. Kicked that winning point in the first game that yep. sealed the game for us after uh, Nathan Eagleton kicked that great goal. Centre wing, Allen to Ratton. Eventually, it's Fraser Brown to Ratton. Receiving it back from Ratton, I should say. So, centre of the ground, Uze. He's looking here for Phoebe. That is Steve, Matthew Phoebe in towards the half forward line. McKay, he's a good, solid, reliable player. And he transfers play out here in the direction of Allen. Allen trying to get away from White. An awkward looking right foot kick. Ward did well, gives it off to White. Good play by the Demons. Tingay, or he was grabbed after he got rid of it. White, that's also a good play. On to Ward again. Ward onto the left. Bends it back. It was an ordinary looking kick. Franchina, Leon Chelly was after him. He kicks wide. Wide at the back. Taps it down. This is Nelson. Good play by Nelson. On to Hamill. What's he doing way up there? On to Allen. So they've got the loose man going and there's Whitnell way out at half forward. So Lance Whitnell drives it wide into the pocket. He was looking for Beaumont. But he's put it out on the full. Allen's having a whale of a game. He's had five hit outs to two on White. Some Ruckman can hit the ball, like Matty Clark from Brisbane, but he's also had four kicks. Yeah, he's done well already. Whitey's really got to start judging his timing, get his timing right, and that's set a bounce. Camparelli into Ratton. Beautiful hand pass. Whitnell from 50. Not a great kick. Shanahan in front takes the mark. Jamie Shanahan back from suspension, hamstring problem. 
Yeah, apparently he did it kicking for goal. Is that right, Drew? At training Practice? one night, he did a hamstring, practicing kicking for goal. There's a bloke who's never kicked a goal in his life. He's dying to kick one, I know that. <laughs> oh, oh, free oh, kick. Whitey has gone for the big ride. And it's a Melbourne free. Hey. Well, usually we'd see uh, the bloke penalised for that. So who's that against? Maybe he gave it against Allen, oh. but... Must have been a decent push. Allen pushed him about 14 feet into the air. That's an amazing decision as we see latching onto it. Ragoni who kicked a great goal five minutes ago. He brings it in towards half-board. Farmer waits down. Lappin gets it to Ratton. This is good play by the Blues. Good kick finds Beaumont. Now there's plenty of space down in this forward pocket area if someone leads. Now he goes up the middle. It kicks to a contest. That wasn't a good option. Tingay read it beautifully. Oh, just got his kick in. Bends it back. Oh, courage was needed then. And Matthew Phoebe had it. Matthew Phoebe gives it off. He's got to come back. Might be a good thing he is bringing it back too. The umpire, let's see if we can handball. He gives it off to now. Phoebe wide. And he finds Ward. Daniel Ward way out at half forward. He, oh, it's an ordinary looking wobbly kick, but it's going to be a Lux of Fortune job because Matthew Phoebe has gone back and taken the mark. That's two kicks that Ward has actually uh, messed up going into the forward line. They're a bit lucky there with Phoebe, just happened to be in the right place, but they've broken down a couple of their attacks by just poor delivery. Well, Matthew Phoebe's a beautiful kick. He's directly in front, he'll have to kick a 45 metre drop punt, and the Demons could really do with it. He lays back, it's out to the left, starting to swing, but not enough, and one behind only. Someone that's really lifted their game. Brett Ratton started a bit slow, even though Carlton kicked the first five. I think he only had about one possession at that point, but now he's really getting into the game and he's at five possessions since. 18 points the margin. Could have been a lot worse if the Demons hadn't steadied. Sexton at centre half back. Look at the space up here for Brown. And Kudafidi's going past. This is a certain Carlton goal you'd have to reckon. Brown's kick puts it out in front. Lap and caught underneath the ball. Here's Allen for his fifth kick. And he caps off a great quarter. I was about to say, what was he doing kicking that when he had Kudafidis beside him? All he had to do was have a bounce and have a kick for goal. But uh, as you see here, he kicks it across. Terrible kick to Lappin. He kicked to a contest, actually. And, uh, luckily, Allen followed the ball down. But, gee, that was, uh, that was a great, great running there from Allen. And he's really started on fire. Yes, Matthew Allen having a terrific game. Four goals the margin, getting close to quarter time. Jeff White not being able to jump over Allen. Well, he won that one. Ragoni, a hurry kick to the half forward line. Two on one, nearly the one one out. Here's Bradley. He bends it back to half forward. Thump away was by Shanahan. Ragoni again had no chance of getting rid of that. Good umpiring again. They've got that right, they're holding the ball today. Yeah, Bradley's doing very well in the back line. He's, uh, he's really giving them some drive. Uh, just a sensational player, Craig Bradley. Five possessions. 35 years of age. Mm. Steve Phoebe. Up in the direction of Matt Phoebe, but it's knocked away by Bradley. Out in front of Sexton. He might have lost a yard in the last season or so. Lap and pulled off the ball. Comes back to Sexton. The umpire will ball it up. Yeah. Melbourne taking too many short options, do you think, Jim? They seem to be kicking short to contest all the time. Yeah, yeah. You, it's not a bad point. It's, it, it's hard this ground up to solve. You, you tend to do that a little bit because it's quite wide. So just 20 seconds remaining to quarter time. White wins, it's over the shoulder, and it's going to be a free kick to Allen. And also, too, when the opposition's putting you under a lot of pressure, you tend to go wider, too, which is what well, Carlton are doing. Superb opening turn by Matty Allen. The kick works through the pack, but uh, somehow White was on his knees, and the ball's hurried out of bounds. Adam Uze. Four goal lead to the Blues. They kick the first five, then Melbourne kick the next three, and then Carlton have kicked the last two. Maybe time for another one for the Blues. White on the 50. Might have been taken without the ball. And there's the siren for quarter time. Farmer Julio having a one on one over here. 
Vanny's coming in. See if he can sort it out. I think, uh, Jeff is a little bit upset. He hasn't touched the footy yet. Well, that was a sensational opening turn by the Blues. Seven different goal kickers. They lead by 24 points. And that man, Matthew Allen, six kicks, one hand pass, five hit outs and a goal. What a quarter by the big fella against White. 44 to 20. not being down there doesn't give him the same opportunity start of the second term and the bounce favored Allen this time no chance of white giving away a free never got near it Sexton hand pass backwards Schwartz the hand pass behind uh, Lee and Chelly grabbed by McKay his kick towards center wing Lappin good charge at the ball but couldn't complete the mark Longmuir wobbly old kick straight onto the chest of Bradley hard to get around Craig Bradley so he reads the play well Whitnell just forward of the wing well, Ingerson tried to take him to the line, but missed him. Well, he could beat one, but he couldn't beat the lot of them. And eventually Ward got him over the line. Just mentioned Shanahan. He's OK. I'll check with the doctors. Uh, he's been right at the moment. He's on the bench with McDonald, Robinson and Troy Simmons for the Ds. Well, that's good news. There's Jamie is a very, very good fullback and is a lot quicker than a lot of people give him credit for. Oh, that was a great hand pass to Camparelli for Murphy. The lead was very, very good. It's stopped away now. Coming back to lend a hand is Tingo. Oh, he, he tapped that and it hit the post. How will the umpire see this? He tried to put it through for a point. Is he going to play deliberate? No, he's not. His intention was to put it through for a behind. It's a contentious the umpire's one. Told him to hang on. He's going to talk to Franchini in a moment. Just wait here. I uh, think Franchini uh, said a few words to the umpire. Maybe he was... Yes, he's talking to Franchino. Franchino might have thought it was deliberate because he, the intention was to tap it through for a behind, but when he did so, the ball hit the post, so it w actually went out of bounds. Sometimes players get a bit confused with that rule. Ingerson with the left hand is in front of the Carlton goal. Here's Murphy. He's a very dangerous player. Uze, come, oh, he caught one across the neck. Here's Adam White. White oh. giving it up. Camparelli. Close to the line. Free kick yep. in the Leon, back. Leon it's Shelley. amazing what happens when you talk to the umpire, eh? Yes. Is that how you got all your kicks, Dipper? I've got most of them that way. He won a Brownlow doing it. Now what's happening? He, he, he's given. He must have mounted off, and it's oh. been turned around. Oh, I can't was, believe it. it! Was definitely going to Franchina, wasn't what? it? Now, Lee and Chelly's got the kick. Gee, it was grandstanding umpiring by McBurney, I have to say. <laughs> Stephen Phoebe wide. Todd Viney, oh, beaten to it by Murphy. He had just a bit too much pace. He's lapping. He headed for the boundary line. Terrific tackle by Tingay. And once he, ta when he tackles you, you're really good. The Melbourne bench dipper. Yeah, once again, we've got Shanahan, McDonald, Robinson and Simmons. See, if Franchina had worded up the umpire the first time, he, uh, McBurney could have just had a quiet word in his shell pink at any stage, but he ran about 50 metres to make it obvious to everyone on the ground that there'd been something said. Bradley goes wide. Allen again. Yeah, that was uh, White just tapping the ball forward when really... Didn't have players, any players there to receive it. Whitnell under pressure. In the back, the Carlton fans reckoned it was. The umpire calls for the boundary throw-in. Listen to the Carlton mob going crook. <laughs> I thought it was a good contest. That marking contest. No, both absolutely at full tilt. Boundary throw-in. Viney gets the strong ball in tight, doesn't he? Kick by Todd Viney, just short of the 50. Punch towards the line. Lee and Chelly's there to try and keep it in. But out it goes, and Farmer still looking for his first touch. Mel yes. Melbourne defence is... Uh, Carlton defence is very good, though, Jim. Yeah, they are. When you can have a guy like Sexton, not, you know, playing sort of on a, on a flank type for, on the wing, I'm not too sure where he's playing at the moment. Well, Kudo Vides and Schwartz. Schwartz, a 30-metre punch. Here's Camparelli. He wanted the boundary line. Got support from Diulio. He hugs the boundary line in turn to Kuda. Oh, look at that. Oh. Great play, Kuda Fides. That was fantastic play. The kick in towards half forward. It clears the pack. Here's Hamill. Walsh is there. And Lappin. Oh, well done by young uh, Peter Walsh. Now, he's got to use this ball properly. Onto the left is not a bad-looking kick, except for one thing. It's got... Oh, no, Schwartz. Spoiled beautifully. Well done, David Schwartz. Should have kicked on the left. Where's your left foot, David? 
He's missed because he didn't have a left foot. Yeah, and he was trying to kick a sort of banana kick. The running banana, around. yeah. And um, although I thought it, it was a bit stiff not to uh, give away a free kick because he pulled the arm. You can see here, he's just trying to be a bit too clever. But you've got to kick those on your left foot, surely. This this check side kick that's starting to come in, I don't know about it. Oh, Bradley, a mighty kick. It flips off the hands to Murphy at the back. Ooh. Away to Sexton. Bit going on behind the play. Farmer, who hasn't had a touch, but I think he might have just delivered one. Balls up inside the attacking 50 for the Blues. Solid by Brown. Great contest at ground level. We're watching the boxes. What's going on with Farmer? 100 metres off the play. Stephen Phoebe clears to Matthew in the centre circle. Matthew off the left. Long to full forward. Gergic and Silvani. Palm down by Soss to Bradley, back to Silvani, that's great football by a couple of veterans. Away to Franchino, close to the boundary line, Kudafidis, round the boundary line, Beaumont, great football by the Blues. Yes, we saw the value of Silvani in that one-on-one -on -one contest, G. Allen's covering some ground. Jeff White really needs to pick up his game, bad kick by Allen, oh, is that a mucky bounce? Young boys, 60 metres around, could not have seen it anyway, Whitnell, in towards half forward, the umpire... What's happening is the boundary umpire finally... They're going to consult the goal umpire. So they've got to lift their game. And now oh, they, they couldn't have deliberated on that from where they were. No was, chance. And, and, and it was over the line because he, he juggled the ball, as you'll see here. He's got the first hand inside and then yes. he's caught it over the line. Well, now, the, the boundary umpire's got to be up at the play there. Well, the right decision was made. That's the main thing is white. Look at that. Looking at back 20. And if ever you think you need... Four boundary umpires, that's a perfect example then. I've got to say, to start it off with Silvani, though, just tapping the ball cleverly back to Bradley, who was on his own, set up that attack for Carlton. Oh, that was great, wasn't it? I tell you, the Heatley stand was never going to give uh, the youngster up there. They just kept quiet about it. <laughs> they reckon all that ball's in. <laughs> and why not? Yeah. Um, it's amazing how your judgment is affected when you're one-eyed, isn't it? Absolutely. But Melbourne are making no inroads into this... Uh, deficit no mind you Carlton haven't scored either not even a point this quarter back near center wing oh. Schwartz goes to ground he need to keep his footing there Bradley's with him well he didn't do much to get it out Craig Bradley the yeah. umpire's going to ball it up but he couldn't really have been pinged for that the number of players have slipped over today is quite unbelievable as you see here Camprielli must have been taken off Hopgood's doing a very good job on him but Interesting you know, to see what players. stops uh, yeah, David well, Schwartz has got in. Well, I think it's a bit dewy out there. Even though it's not raining, but it's just a little bit wet. Allen wins another hit out. It goes to Brown. He spirals the ball deep inside 50. Hamill, good hands. Taken to ground by Seacamp. Play on, and now out of bounds. And the Carlton crowd roaring up there in the social club as a Demon supporter looks on pensively. 50 metres around for the Carlton goal. 44 plays, 21. Ingerson, yeah, well, he tapped it down beautifully to Ragoni, a hurry kick. Oh, bad bounce for Matthew Phoebe, taken by Bradley. Bradley drives it up into the danger area. Well done, Peter Walsh. That's a very, very good mark. Oh, he's going to get himself in trouble here. Gives it off to Ragoni. He's in trouble too. Oh, goodness me, they refuse to kick it. Tingay, he, well, he's still got a good play, Stephen Tingay. On to Ragoni, who drives the centre wing, a clash coming up. No, Matthew Phoebe, free kick, holding the man. Advantage paid here to Todd Viney, who on the left drives it well to Gergic. He's got it. He's going to snap around the corner, and there's kicked to behind. We talked about left foots earlier. I'll tell you who uh, I played with a thought with. The best left foot for a right foot was Alan Jakovic. And I was thinking about it today, I remember he lined up for a goal one day and he kicked, for, oh, on the mark, kicked, used his left to kick the goal. From a set shot? Set shot. Oh. And, 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 and the messenger went out and said, what do you do that for? And he said, oh, well, it just felt like it. <laughs> I could never tell with Malcolm Blight whether he was left or right. On the run or anything, you just couldn't and pick the difference. Going back before him, Bob Skilton. Matt. You were probably a baby then, Drew. I don't think I was born. <laughs> Gee, you're ageing, Bob Skilton. <laughs> 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 Ratton just inside the line. He's kick up towards centre wing. Evades Kudafidis and goes out. Funny sort of a quarter. By this stage in the first quarter, Carlton have kicked about four goals. In this term, they haven't managed even a point. And Melbourne have only kicked two points. Yeah, two back lines are really starting to you know, take control of the game. 
So it was furious in the first quarter. They kicked 10 goals between them, and now they've been playing for nine and a half minutes for no goals. Ratton back to Murphy. McKay to centre half forward. Hamill caught behind, and Seacamp takes a mark. Slides it off to Tingay. Hurriedly out of defence. Good kick. Phoebe, finger tipper. Kick by Matthew Phoebe. Here he comes, the wizard. No mark. He still hasn't had a touch. Ronnie Dulio going really well. It comes to Sexton. Kick by Sexton. Very high to centre wing. Oh, went too early. Gave away the free kick. Tingay. Yeah, good decision by the umpire. He kicked Hamill out of the contest. Now, up towards half forward. It flips over the back. Whitnell appealing for a free kick. Walsh. Goes back to Seacamp. Uze. Uze drives it. Oh, it's all uh, blues here. Beaumont. In towards half forward. And Allen, is, uh, he's having a birthday. Gives it off to Ratton. Ratton drive to the half forward line. The demons fly over the back. They had the strength there. Longmuir locks in his Carlton opponent in Murphy. And it'll be a bounce at half forward for the Blues. Yeah, I think Melbourne got it. They've got to do something here with, with Matty Allen. And I uh, saw the runner going out giving White a message, but he's just not playing tight enough. Melbourne's last goal, 17 and a half minutes into the first quarter. And we're now uh, 11 minutes into the second. Actually, Melbourne have a decent breeze in this second term, so the fact they're goalless doesn't uh, bode well go. for them. Comes to Phoebe. Matthew Phoebe gets himself over the ball, but hasn't got the football. Carlton take it away from him. Bradley has been sensational. Kicks across the half-back line looking for touch. And out it goes. Well played, Craig Bradley. You are a gun. Well, that's Bradley's 10th possession, and he's playing a very smart game here. He's got Phoebe playing on him, but he's just playing 10, 15, 20 metres off him, and he's just reading the play a lot better than that. Longmuir off, and uh, Paul Hopgood back on there. Looks so he's... Some sort of an injury, like a corky or something like that. It's just slightly yeah, spot on, uh, Pez. Just a corky there. The doctor's looking at him at the moment, expecting him to come back on. Thank you, Dipper. The ball way out at half forward. And there he is. You blokes are both experts at corks, aren't you? Especially in a bottle. <laughs> and they do hurt. I've got to tell you, those, uh, those corkies do hurt. I'll say they do. As we see, Kudafidis, he's got long arms now. Whoa, whoa. No, they're Melbourne are fumbling. Phoebe, Matthew, Ward, oh, he did that very, very well. He's looking for Uze, but chipping in Kuta Fides. It looks very lacklustre, Melbourne. That's a good mark to Lappin. That's a very, very good mark in front of Walsh. He's got a great spring. Uh, Matthew Lappin drives to the half-forward line. That's a great kick. Silvani couldn't mark. And it looks like Silvani has been moved down forward. Yeah, they just, as you said before, can't really haven't done anything in this quarter. Haven't been able to kick anything, so they've decided to put Silvani down for forward again. But so may remember last week he failed to kick a goal down there. So, pretty stagnant at the moment in the second term. Nothing happening on the scoreboard. 44 to 22. Well, I think the on ballers for both sides have become a lot more accountable in this quarter. They started off to just loose men everywhere. Shanna's waiting for his chance to come back on. I reckon he might get a chance now, now that Silvani's gone to full forward. Ingerson goes over the back. Giovanni, Jim, is back at the full back. He just followed Gurkic all the way up there. Oh, yeah. he did too. Um, they, they just can't get a past half forward at the moment. You can't beat a bloke. Reading the play is a terrific attribute in a football, and Bradley's got that. Oh, he's just yep. a wonderful player. Now they're using Sexton as a free man in the back line. Ing Ingerson knocks the ball towards the boundary line and it's out. Back near centre wing. Quarter time it was 7-2 to 3-2. Now it's 7-2 to 3-4. And uh, we're approaching the 14 minute mark of the second quarter. McKay. Bragoni goes to ground. Oh, he hooked that back in. And Wo Woden. Just this year Melbourne have been pretty low on the marking department. The lowest in the competition. And in Inside 50 today, they've only had two marks, and obviously that's, you know, with David Neitz out, it's puts a lot of responsibility back on the shoulders of David Swartz. Ingerson won the hit out, but Murphy got it for Carlton to McKay on the bounce. Lappin lost control. Uze straight up the ground. Farmer trying to sprint on it, but he came from a long way back. Kudafidis gave the hand pass away to Silvani in trouble. Oh, Diulio run down from behind. Well played by Gergic. 
Chance for the D's now. Leoncelli, Roddy again, round the boundary line, and he gets it out. Well, usually when you run down from behind like that, and you get pinged for holding the ball. Not that one. What do you reckon now? He's often clear. He's run down. That's, that's holding the ball. Yeah. They play that every time. That's about the first one I've seen where they haven't. There's a kick by Sexton. Well trapped. The white. That was from his teammate in Murphy. The kick comes down to the half four line. Camparelli went without it. Hopgood. Quick hand pass. Hamill's after it with Seacam. Hamill and Seacamp. This is a good contest. Still Hamill. Seacamp and Hamill. Still Hamill. Oh, he was caught round the neck. Murphy. Back it comes to oh. Hamill. And he proceeds to put it into the Carlton oh, Social that's Club. Shocking. There so, was two players on Hamill then. I mean, one of the uh, Melbourne players could have shepherd and talking to his other teammate to get the ball. It was well played by Hamill. Yeah, but you can't kick the ball up in the air and out of bounds like that. Steve Phoebe. Still deep in the defensive 50. And he kicks up short of centre wing. Kudafidis at the back. He's done some classy things this quarter. Good pick up by Franchino. Back to Kudafidis. And more class. Brown. Fraser Brown to the 40 metre mark. Whitnell in front. Couldn't take the mark. It comes off hands. Tingay. Phoebe. Back into trouble. Ooh. Real contest here. Whack. Beaumont in a bit of space. Well, he's missed by 30 metres. Just, just not good play there. I think it was Phoebe handballing the ball back inside when there was about six players. Seacamp's done a hamstring, Jim, so he's coming off the ground there. Mm. Shanahan that's, back on. That's going to be costly for Melbourne. And Fraser Brown off and Darren Hume on. There's Fraser. Dr Dipper, you did well last night and well diagnosed again. <laughs> Well, here's Tingay, but this is where they've been falling down, around about half forward. David Swartz. Can't mark. He needs some help around that half forward line. They needs a nippy little player around to help him out. Hamill, he went without it. Pudafee has been looking good. McKay, umpire calls, play on. Quick hand pass. Comes out there. Oh, he slipped over to Todd Bonney. I bet he's, he's got the rubbers on. Have a look yeah, at that. Yeah. Too many Melbourne players. Swartz just fell over here as well on the boundary slipped over for a second time. I really think that they've got to start making smarter decisions with their footwear. Yeah, you got to keep your feet, don't you, Jim? Yeah, yeah. because Swartz had gone forward. He was a free man. If he oh, had to pick that ball up quickly. That was Hamill getting it down further to Whitnell. Whitnell kicks wide. It's not a good kick, but it might bounce around. Allen's mobility has been terrific. Here's Adam White from the boundary line trying to hook it back in. The ball will roll and roll over the line for a throw-in right next to the behind post Carlton's forward zone. What uh, Jeff White should be doing is trying to drag Allen forward, so into his back line to put Allen under pressure rather than just, because he's playing more of a defensive role now, just trying to keep Allen out of the game. And often the best thing is to actually take him down the other end of the ground. Marcus Seacamp not looking too happy there. Tingay a little toe poke. Camparelli out wide. White tries to hook the ball back. Out it goes. Smothered. No, out on the full. And a Melbourne free kick. Good pressure there by Tingay. He's a gutsy player. He's just in it, in it under the packs. Yeah, he's no. just stretching his hamstring out here. Uh, the goggles will ice up in a moment, so um, he gets some stretch out there. As you see, the ice bag there. Barney short kick into Ward. Well, nothing happening as far as goal scoring here. Absolutely nothing. It's not playing into the hands of Melbourne because they do have a breeze at their back in this quarter. And with 11 goals in the first quarter, and you'd think it's going to be a big day if yeah. forwards. Murphy at centre wing, wide for Franchina. We're approaching the 19-minute mark without a goal this quarter. Franchina's given it straight up. Stephen Phoebe takes the mark to Uze. Uze, centre of the ground to Matthew Phoebe. Bradley's with him. He's been his nemesis all day. Matthew Phoebe crunched, head on. Sexton. Got his head a bit. Sexton wanted the free, but the umpire's going to ball it up. The delivery to, in this quarter, though, was really poor. Shocking. Like you're watching players going in. The ball's just breaking down half forward. Players kicking the ball up in the air. Yeah, so to opposition players. Well, that should have hit him on the on the chest then yeah. because there was no excuse for Uze. He was loose on his own. Here's Andrew McKay. Darren Hume. Now, Todd Viney. Let's see if they can do something, Melbourne. A one-on-one -on -one contest. Oh, going early was Gergic. Silvani kept his feet. Now he goes down. 
Peter Vini's appealing for a free kick. And this Melbourne forward line at the moment is getting... There's too much experience down there for Carlton. This is fantastic. Yeah. They're thrashing them but down they didn't there. Vini didn't even kick it to Gurgis' favour. Uh, he actually kicked it to the leading Silvani. Silvani and Murphy. Now Sexton. Allen has been best man on the ground in my book. A low trajectory kick. Tingay trying very hard. Hamill did well. On to Ratton. Ratton in towards half forward. Good lead. And Pierce, who is on the ground, has marked. Will kick from 45. Well, this will be uh, his first kick and his uh, first goal of the season if he can kick this. Well, Melbourne have to do something about this forward structure because it is just not working. They're getting annihilated down there. Yeah. Well, Farmer's just not getting any space. The Lulio is really wearing him tight. So Pierce kicks from half forward. That's a beautiful kick. It's a goal. So the drought is broken. The drought and goals. And unfortunately for Melbourne, it went the Blues way. Yeah, it has. And that's Pierce's first goal of the season. Someone was saying before, he got his hair cut and since he did he couldn't kick <laughs> but uh, he's on target there but as you'll see a lot better here players leading much better pass now if you put it out in front of your player your teammate well at least you give him a chance to take a mark as you saw there well Brad Pierce kicked a half a century of goals in Carlton's premiership year 95 we haven't seen all that much of it since well neither Ruckman got a hand to it and the ball came back to terra firma and there's a high tackle in there. Carlton's free kick. Quickly taken by Hume. He comes out wide to Beaumont. He's got any amount of players going past. Bradley drew a man. Kuda Fides has played a magnificent second term, but he can't get it this time. Matt Phoebe up to Tingay. Wobbly old kick very wide. That's not for the team's advantage. Silvani gets back. Looks like a draft horse sauce, but he is quick across the ground. Hume at halfback. Up towards an over centre wing. Oh. Tingay! Mark of the day, Stephen Tingay! Right, man. Just saying, maybe they should move a Tingay forward and just yep. change the forward line a bit. They've used him before and he's, he's done quite well. Ball sits up for Gergic well. Oh. Shepherd by Schwartz. Play on, says the umpire. Here's Farmer, one out. On the boundary line, 50 from goal. Oh, <laughs> that's a great contest. What game are you playing? The ball's out of play. I'll tell you, oh. Silvani got cleaned right up there from sports. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, Beautiful that's a show. great effort. Radulio is doing a terrific yeah. job on Farmer. And look at him wearing like a glove because he's got the pace to go with him. That's a terrific matchup by uh, David Parkin. Oh, there's Schwartz with a big round arm punch, but Sexton doing the roving. Oh, Bradley, oh, he's clever. Back he goes to Murphy and it creates the loose man. Allen again. Here's Allen again. Jeff White has got to get closer to him and work a little bit harder. Now, James McDonald at the back. No mark to Beaumont, but the workhorse, Ratton. Great kick into the centre of the ground. This He's is gone. Nelson. That's holding the ball. That's holding the ball, umpire. Come on. He had every two. I don't think he handballed that. The chip pass in towards half forward was meant for Hickmott. Here's Leon Challey. He was grabbing. He didn't have it. There's Hume. Here's a goal coming up to Nelson. On the left, it's a goal. So Franchina's kicked the goal. And the Carlton fans are happy. Gee, I don't know whether he got a handball back in the centre of the ground. Look at look at this bump on Silvani. Oh, oh never gosh. even saw it coming. But again, it all started with Delulio down in that great tackle on Farmer. Get the ball. Dead. As you see here, no messing. Well, that is a classic case where your defenders can set up a goal and the ball can move one end to the other. Diulio's effort on Farmer, way down the other end, started all that. Bit of a break now for the Blues. The palm comes straight down to Viney. Standing start kick, goes a mile. McKay's back there. With him, Rigoni. Schwartz! Melbourne desperate for a goal. Schwartz goes back. Rigoni centres the ball. All Carlton. Beaumont left it behind and then regained it. Once he dropped the mark, the Melbourne players should have been swooping in there to yep. grab it. I see Simmons is coming on here for White. And if you look in the forward line, Melbourne have only had two possessions inside 50 in this quarter. Yeah. Jeff White has been uh, absolutely flogged by Allen. He's had uh, one kick, four hand passes, four hit outs, but Allen has dominated round the ground and in the ruck. 
Blues going forward again. Nelson. He's gone. Can't break the tackle, just gets the ball away. Tingay, in he comes to Hopgood. And Hopgood's gone wide. He should have kept going the way he was. Steve Phoebe. Well, Melbourne were very ordinary last week here. They were very, very ordinary, and I reckon they've been very ordinary again today. But then Carlton have been very, very good. But they've got to make a couple of changes on the forward line. Yep. You just can't leave the same setup. I think maybe bring Gurridge out, put maybe, as we said before, maybe a Tingo down there, or even an Adamuze. I might even try Ingerson. I know that might be a risk, but he has played on the forward line in, over in Adelaide. There's Camper Rally. Did well, Viney. Oh, he's unloaded. Oh, Pierce has caught high. Free kick to Pierce. Well, he will kick from 50, and he is a great kick. You'll see he gets caught high. Schwartz has gone into the ruck on Allen, and uh, well, they call Schwartz the ox. He's giving him the horns, the head butts, and everything he can think of. Brad Pierce, a driving kick up to the square, off hands. And through for a behind, but it's uh, they're just making no inroads, Melbourne. Their forward line's been terrible. Well, well, they've just made a change here. They brought Robertson onto the ground, taking Gurgage off. So maybe uh, the fi high flying Robertson can get up and take a couple of marks. Well, if ever it puts proof that Silvani should never be moved from full back, you're seeing it again today. Well, Schwartz and Gurgic have been playing in the key forward post and they haven't taken a mark between them in half a football. Now Murphy's another player who's really lifted this quarter. He's had 10 handballs, second quarter. Just two minutes to half time. Tingay's had six kicks and five handballs in this term, so he's uh, putting in. He's had 16 possessions for the game. Woe Woden's kick up and down the mine shaft, didn't go 10 metres. The umpire was saying play on, play on the whole time, so there's no point in, in attempting a mark. And now it will be balled up by umpire Steve McBurney. Gergic being worked on in the hamstrings. He's been that, out for a fair while with a hamstring injury, yeah, Drew. He played round one and has been missing with hamstring problems. This is his first game since round one. Hamill fighting hard for the ball. And I uh, don't think this quarter will go in the time capsule of AFL football. I think they'll just spool the tape back to the start and erase it. If you look at some of the statistics so far in the game, Carlton Honda. Just over 100 kicks to Melbourne, 69, and in the handballs they've had uh, an extra 20. And marks, double in the marks. And double in the marks. And for all that, Carlton have kicked two goals, one for the quarter, and Melbourne just two behinds for the quarter. Thump towards the 50. Whitnell's hand pass, taken by Woe Woden. Hurried kick out of defence. Caparelli capped underneath it. His crunch, play or no mark. It comes out wide. We've got something here. Uze to Phoebe. The kick by Matt Phoebe. Do they need this? Oh. Offline. No hope. Into the behind post on the full. So that's out of bounds on the full. Gee, that just seems to be kick. what happens though. When confidence is down, you're not playing well, you tend to make silly errors like that. Longmuir back on the ground. He's got it. Oh, he couldn't get the hand pass in. Up by calls play on. Farber runs around. Good play by Farmer, but a shocking kick. So but he was uh, flattened. And denied him of his first touch. Yeah. Oh, it's a kick. It's not to Farmer, but it's... Well, they were going to play advantage, but when yep. no advantage ensured, it had to go back. Yep. Longmuir. Troy Longmuir way out at half forward. But, gee, that Carlton defence has been miserly. They've been fantastic. Now, it's a wobbly-looking uh, aeroplane. To, well, helicopter-type kick. Kudafetis has been absolutely terrific. So has McKay. On the Beaumont. Now Steve Silvani with that funny-looking run of his, but he's... Gets it to Hickmott, and Hickmott marks at half-back. Just seconds remaining to half-time. Kick by Hickmott, who missed all of last season after knee surgery. Ball punched out by Ingerson, and that'll be a throw-in. Just poor kicking again into that forward line. Like, that kick from Longmuir, you know, try Simmons had run forward, but just can't expect to mark those sort of kicks. Ingerson without a kick so far, just three hand passes. Ball comes down, Camparelli fights hard for it. Quarter time, or half time. Thank goodness for that. What a funny old second quarter. Oh, they yeah. kicked 10 goals between them in the first quarter. Carlton kicked 2 to nil in the second. The nil down would be very disappointed. Like, he just needed a lift, particularly when they got back in the game just before quarter time. And now, really, they've, um, they've got to have a big think. 
So Carlton 9-3-57, lead Melbourne 3-4-22. So here we go for the start of the second half. Allen confronts White and is back off the bench. It comes down to uh, Leoncelli. Oh. A hurried kick by Uze went nowhere. Sure. Ball flipped out the back. McKay is there to Brown. They're losing ground in possession, but it's with the best it could possibly be with Craig Bradley. For a kick wide to the wing, Murphy. So he's played that, that role really well today. Just sort of the half back line, but always dropping back when they're coming back and picking up that as a loose player and then uh, being able to use the ball going forward. Bradley, 13 possessions. Throw in centre wing. White beaten to it by Allen, and he's been beaten uh, most of the game. Or oh, there's uh, Matthew Phoebe putting his body in and forcing the free kick against Camparelli. That was good play. He's actually not doing too bad on, Bra on, on Bradley. So Matt Phoebe, well, he's been one of uh, Melbourne's better players. You would say in towards half what Schwartz caught at the back. He's got it though. Oh, gets in a hand pass. James McDonald. Oh, oh just grabbed him just enough to put him off. He was going for an open goal and he's you, missed. I'll tell you, it was it was a good effort there. I think it was Sexton that actually got the hand in. As you'll see here, yeah, just just pulled him a little bit there on on, on the jumper just to put him off. Well, Silvani brings it back in and he finds Anthony Francina. Back to Bradley, who, as Jim Stein said, swooping around that half-back area. Great reader of the play, Bradley, and normally a terrific kick. It's Carlton players everywhere out there. Hamill, Shanahan is there, but he can give it off to Brown. Now McKay, here's Uze, sweeping oh. hand pass. Just hope it's now Matthew Phoebe. Shirt front on the umpire. Now Thank Todd Viney, he kicks in to Ragoni, who's a thumping kick from 50 metres for his second night. Ooh, that could be it. That could he be looks goal. confident. He might have snuck this in. He did. Well, and again, a 50-meter kick from Ragonia. John Harvey gets up a very sick and sorry, but he can grin about it. Oh, yeah, that was a good good shirt front there. <laughs> he's, he's, As he's, you'll see here in the replay, he just, Francini just ran straight into him. But that's um, just the start that Melbourne looking for. You now they've started uh, the other quarter very slowly. First goal since the first quarter. Good bump on umpire John Harvey because amongst the men in white, he's not the uh, slimmest of the lot of them, but he was put down beautifully by Francina. Viney out of the middle. And the Demons have started the half better. Kudafiti's he's got a fist to the ball, but it went behind him. Bradley flipped the ball back. Sexton, he was crunched high. Yeah. Just give him one round the chops, and that's an easy free kick to give away. Should be advantage here. The ball's coming back. A three players out here by themselves Ooh. at the moment. Gee whiz, Schwartz, you better be careful. Gee. Might have an appointment during the week. You never know after that one. Sex is a bit lucky. Awesome. Silvani running from full back. The old one two and gets it back for a third. Kick not perfect. Oh. Ball's just about thrown back. Gee, lucky to get away with that. Tingay's hand pass. Woden, he's lost it. Camparelli, dangerous. Oh, great kick. Whitnell, goal coming up. He'll pop it over the top. Pierce in the goal square gets another one. Two goals to Brad Pierce. I think it was a mistake there by Tingay. He just oh. handballed the ball back inside. And Carlton just pounced on that. Just a bit indiscriminate there. No See? talk out there either, no, Jimmy. Like Ingo. Just well, Woden had Ratten right on him. Cabriale just picked up a loose ball, and Whitland got away there from Ingerson. I think he was still on the ground from that tackle, and that's uh, just what Carlton wanted to level for the quarter. Well, Carlton have got their first multiple goal scorer. That's Brad Pierce with and he's kicked the two 10-3. Plays 4-5, so a long way to go for the uh, Demon. Viney working hard in the middle, tried to shuffle it out. Hopgood was there. Now Ratten. Wo Woden. Good hand pass. Steve Phoebe. Now Tingay to the halfway line where Bradley fights for it with uh, Matthew Phoebe. Socket off the ground. Oh, lots of fortune because Nelson was waiting for it. Brings it in towards half forward. It clears the pack. It's still in play, and oh, Hopgood, 
took that over, the umpire giving him the benefit of the doubt as far as uh, deliberate. Well, just at half time, we're talking to Gary Lyon, he was saying that maybe they should put Farmer one out in the goal square. Well, they've done that, and they've got Delulio in there, and Farmer all on his own. But Swartz out at centre forward with Uze. Or Rigoni, I think it is, Rigoni. Carlton's defence just swarming all over the Ds, and they haven't got room to deliver the ball properly. Ds bench dipper. Uh, Brett Gerkic, uh, Marcus Seacamp, Troy Longmuir, and Troy Simmons. Beautiful. Ingerson, but Ratten for the Blues. Murphy, well done. A great second quarter, Justin Murphy. This kick is out of bounds on the full. Melbourne's free. Well, Melbourne did get the first goal of this second half, but Carlton answered quickly. Gee, the Demons need about the next three or four, you'd reckon. Free kick to go to Phoebe. Now, come on, from in front, Jimmy, which one is it? That's Stephen. How could you tell uh, when you couldn't uh -huh. see a number? You just can, they just look a little bit different when you play with them for 14 years. <laughs> Good boy. Well, I've been calling them for 14 years. I've got no idea, Pete. <laughs> and until they kick, Silvani punched away from Murphy. Rigoni, uh, rather, Leoncelli did well at the front of the pack. Hand pass across by Walsh to Woe Woden. Robertson couldn't oh. keep it in. Uh, well, Russell Robertson, they need on one of the four as far as we look at the Carlton bench. Peter, we've got uh, Hickmont, Manton, Hume and Adam White there for Carlton. Thank you, Dipper. So, it's handy when you've got someone like Manton on the bench and you don't have to use him. Bradley, the Sexton, again uh, hugging the boundary line. Some strong work by Whitnall. In fact, it was a free kick against Ingerson. You heard the Carlton uh, fans roaring. But still oh, poor not kicking. Not a lot in it. Well, kicking's it's... still terrible, though, Peter. Yep. Whitnell. Oh, here's Beaumont. Oh, nearly hung on to that. Here's uh, Daniel Ward mopping up now. Has he got someone to kick it to? He keeps it low. Ragoni did that pretty well. Oh, another fumble. That might be a free kick. No, it's not. Quick kick by Fraser Brown. And waiting underneath it is Good Beaumont, strong, who will kick for goal from 35 metres. Good strong mark. But again, just kicking coming out of the back line there. Just you know, the, okay, it was there was there was a bit of a contest, but it didn't even. You know, the ball lands on the ground, gives uh, Carlton another chance. You see there, good courageous mark. Nearly took the mark just before. Well, Simon Beaumont. Now let's let's see if he's like a lot of left footers hooking it left to right. He's directly in front and right through the middle. So, in fact, in this term, Carlton have gone further ahead, so it's not looking good for the Demons. No, but they, you know, the Demons started off well. They kicked the first goal, and now Carlton have replied with two, which just lengthens their lead. You know, there's six goals, seven goals now in front, and uh, you just adopt this oval. It's always hard to pick back your lead like that out here for some reason. Just they never seem to be very high-scoring games. It's a big break now. 40 points in favour of the Blues. Brown inside 50. Whitnell waits. Lost sight of it. Uze goes off the ground and concedes about 35 metres backwards. Jim, it just seems that when a team puts another one under pressure, as Carlton has done to Melbourne today, it just looks as though Melbourne's got no system whatsoever. Yeah, like, I suppose you could say that. They obviously do have a system, but it's just not working today. Carlton must have busted it down pretty well. Uze goes round the boundary. Well, this time... Out of bounds on the full. He kicked it forward, but kicked it out of bounds on the full. So his last two kicks have been pretty interesting. Brown takes the free. Pierce! Oh, well, that's just poor marking. Daniel Ward there just giving Pierce about five metres. Kick from the boundary line, and Pierce... He's not far off directly in front at centre half forward. Now he's kicked for goal for his third. No problem. Well, he came into this game without a goal for the season, and now he's kicked three straight today. But maybe uh, Melbourne should. I think they might need to make a few changes. Maybe even bring Wagoni in on the ball. 
He's been playing well on that half forward. And McKay's been picking him up. Just to try and change a few things in there. They're just not winning enough play out of the middle. Well, desperate states now for Melbourne. They are in big trouble. They're almost eight goals down. White and Allen. Allen won it again with the uh, left hand. Kingay working his uh, backside off out there, trying to inspire the Melbourne side, but he's just got too many mates who are down. And there's a bit of a lack of urgency as well for the Melbourne players. Yeah, well, I, I thought they lacked urgency yeah. right from the start, Jim. And, and something you said when they got their first goal, I think Gerges, you said only one player went up to tap, and that often gives you an indication of where their mindset is. Well, Fraser Brown crashed his way through the pack. Jamie Shanahan on to Steve Phoebe, who drives it wide. And the mark has been taken out here by Swartz and getting some hoots. First mark for the day. He finds Todd Viney. Now, Viney is 60 metres out from goal. There's no one. But now, Farmer's back one-on-one. -on -one. He leads. Viney kicks oh, to him. Terrible kick. And he's got it. Uh, how will the umpires see that? He's called play on. Camparelli. It was an ordinary kick by Viney. Here's Silvani. He's enjoying it back in defence. A bad hand pass, but oh, Murphy in the back against Viney, but not paid. Taken away by Silvani. This is a procession as we see Ratton down to Whitnell. Henderson didn't have any chance then because it was a good kick, and the Carlton fans are liking what they're seeing. This is when teams are most dangerous, and the ball is turned over. Again, Melbourne had a great opportunity to go inside 50, and it's just a shocking kick. Shanahan at the back. Good mark, Jamie Shanahan. Well, Silvani better get back to his position. He's about 150 metres up the ground. Shanahan's kick in the direction of uh, Phoebe. That's great play by Beaumont to keep him away from it. Bradley, a beautiful 20-metre hand pass. Pierce for number four, but he missed it to the left. What about Bradley then? He was on the half-back line. He ran all the way, Drew, those 60 metres, just to back up his teammate. Of course, got the handball to Pierce here, but just just fantastic play. Just a terrific play, isn't he? Oh, just unbelievable. Oldest player going around in the competition at the moment. He's had 16 possessions. Uze is not playing in that same sparkling form of last year. He's having a, not a pretty quiet year, really, by his standards. Adam Uze, maybe they could take him up forward to try and kick a goal. He's not the only one, though. No, well, there's a mark to Ingus in there. I don't think he's been disgraced. Ingus, and he's trying very, very hard yeah. there on Whitnell, but... The ball's coming down fast and furiously. About to get his first kick. Yeah, but he, at least he's been yep. with Whitnell and uh, harassing and putting a bit of pressure on. Here's White. Centre of the ground, White. It's been White's first mark, isn't it? Yeah, well, he's been very, very quiet on the hop good. Now, will he be more direct? He kicks it slightly to the half-forward area. It flips over the back. Here's Tingay. Oh, he's done a hamstring, I think. Tingay's pulled up. Oh, they yeah, can't make it right on, Peter. Hammy. Oh, that hammy snapped, I reckon. I reckon he'll be straight off. You wait till you see him clutch this. Yeah, he just... Yeah, yeah it looks like a hemi. And that's a rotten injury. Although I don't think it's a full-on... It's more of a little bit of a tear, a bit of a strain. Oh. Here's Bradley right back in the back pocket now. Silvani got back. Bradley looking to rush her behind, but the whistle had gone. It was thrown oh. by Silvani, says the umpire. Soss not happy with the decision. He's a I, brave umpire right in front of the I, Carlton Social Club. I find it hard to, to believe that that was a throw. And Stephen Tingay, another victim of the hamstring brigade. If someone could cure hamstrings and stop them from happening, they'd be, they'd be a but genius. Stephen, Stephen's had a bit of a history of you know, small tears in the hamstrings. James McDonald from the boundary line. No. Nope. Across the face. He did pretty well to get a score there. He has kicked three behinds today, James McDonald. And last year here, he kicked the two goals near the end of the game and the point that won the game for us. Made him a hero. Yeah. Yep. Well, shouldn't say us. It yeah, was then, about. though. It oh. was then. Well, Stephen Tingo had had nine kicks and nine handballs, and he was their best yeah, player. Absolutely. Um, I'll certainly miss him. Now, Ingerson will fly with Hamill. Shanahan thumps it over the back. Here's Ratton. Beaumont. Centre wing, Stephen Simon Beaumont. Oh, oh he tried do? to be a bit too fancy. Left the football behind. Sexton's gone. He gets in a quick hand pass. Steve Phoebe working hard on Beaumont. He'll head for the line, you would think. 
Now, is that out in the full? Yep. Well, it is. It'll be a Carlton penalty kick at half back. Just nothing going right for the D's. Silvani towards the far side of the ground. Well, Ronnie Giulio, this is only his fifth possession, but he'd nearly be amongst their best for the job he's done on Farmer. Farmer hasn't had one kick or one handball. No, nah, clean sheet. I think they should take Farmer up on the ball just to get him into the game. Allen, oh, this is great play by Carlton. Melbourne haven't touched the ball. It's gone from one end to the other, and Kuda kicks a goal. Well, if nothing else, we needed something like that to spark the game. But obviously, you'd rather it coming from Melbourne just to try and uh, make a bit of a game with this. But right now, Melbourne just can't do anything right. And Kuda Fittis is really maturing now into a top player. Yeah, I mean, someone they've missed, like last week they, were at, they brought Brown in, they brought Delulio and Kuda Fittis, and they've all made a big impression this week. Anthony Kutafidis has kicked his first and he has been terrific. And he is really now developing into a top class player across half back. Here's Hopgood. The ball was held to him. The umpire will bounce. But he's starting to give them enormous drive, Kutafidis, with his skill and pace. It was a beautiful goal. Hopgood's done well today on Camprioli. But I think they should bring Troy Simmons on, give him a goal. Now, Robertson jumping over the top. Here's Leon Chally, who has been not giving them the same drive in recent weeks. There's Bradley, look at that. Getting himself in the right position again against uh, Matthew Phoebe and takes it to the line. And the Carlton fans absolutely wrapped with their evergreen champion. And so their teammates. Yes, couldn't have got a louder cheer if it was Stephen Kernan. Here's Farmer for his first kick and listen to the cheers from the Melbourne faithful. And guess what? He's given it straight to the opposition. Kuda takes the mark. Kuda Fides, who just kicked the last goal. And I bet when Rigoni gave away the free kick in the back pocket, furthest thing from his mind was that it would cost his team a goal way up the other end. McKay kicks with distance to centre wing. Gee, big leap by Whitnell. The mark taken by Shanahan, well up the ground. 52-point lead to the Blues. We're in the third quarter, about midway mark. Leoncelli, hurried kick. Bradley again, drops one for a change. Play on. Oh, perfect, oh. Craig Bradley, just perfect. Here goes Ronnie. So uh, Diurio kicks to half or Walsh underneath it has taken the mark. So uh, this is Peter Walsh. The ball's been coming down very, very quickly to that uh, Demon defensive area. Over the back was Uze. Now Matthew Phoebe. Good tackle there by Whitnell. Here's Swartz. That's a very good play by Swartz to Leon Chally, who chips it in short. It's a poor kick. Doesn't get to Ragoni. There's Bradley mopping up again. Kuda Fidi. Plenty of time. Look at that for skill and pace. He came through the middle. Here's Lappin. Lappin having a look. Allen. Allen's gone. Almost threw the ball away. Now Walsh. Walsh latching onto it. This is where they've been failing. They bring it up towards half forward. Over the back, it's a free kick to McKay, is it? Yeah, Todd Vine, a bit of a push in the back. Melbourne have actually put Todd Viney down to full forward and brought Farmer out, I think, on the wing. Kuda Fides, 17 possessions. And he kicked a goal coming up from half back. Murphy goes short. Franchina. We thought he might get the job on uh, the wizard, Jeff Farmer. But it was Ronnie Giulio who's done the job there. Allen has been absolutely superb for the Blues from Jeff, the opening bounce. Jeff White's just come off and Troy Simmons has come on. Allen's kick. Gergic started as a forward. He's in trouble. He turned into that tackle. Well, in my opinion, he should be pinged for that. He had every chance of getting rid of it. Look at this, Jim. Now he's got it. Yep. Caught. Yeah, that's holding the Gone. ball. Gone. That's holding the Absolutely. ball. Instead Prior of that, opportunity. Good all, call, Peter. All Pierce wins is a boundary throw in. Ratten, the ball knocked out of his arms. Woe Woden across to Uze. Oh, look at this. It's all Carlton. No look at not there. a Melbourne player for 35 metres. Allen. Well He's running around like a rover. Here's Murphy. Farmer couldn't quite get him. The ball brought down towards the half forward line. It looked like it was Simmons. Here's Russell Robertson latching onto it on the boundary line. Bends it back, Miney. Uh, it's gone through 4A behind, I would think. 
It has. They still haven't taken a mark this quarter in the 450. They've taken only two for the game. Melbourne inside their 450 metres. Never going to win a game no. like that. Something that when Carlton win, they tend to take a lot more marks than their opposition, and today they've taken twice as many marks as Melbourne. Murphy astray this time with his kick out of bounds on the full. Jeff White looming as one of the uh, great stars of our competition. Uh, he's had an absolute lesson today from Matty Allen. Allen was best on ground last week too. I don't think it'll do his state representative chances a whole lot of good today. Well, Woden, a hurried kick and a dive by Robertson. Sorry, two weeks ago, Matthew Allen was best on ground. He was good last week too, though. He two goals, had about 33 hit outs. And a losing team. And there's Michael Sexton getting treatment. And in the foreground, we saw Glenn Manton, who hasn't had a run today. And here's Russell Robertson kicking for goal from about 40 metres just over. Right in front. Good kick. Oh, the Carlton fans are cheering, so he might have hooked it and has for a behind. Oh, Neil Danaher, that phone will be lucky to see the day out. Very, very gloomy looking uh, Melbourne match committee there and coach, of course. Now, Andrew McKay plays well every week. I've got to be surprised though, like two weeks ago against Essen and Melbourne were brilliant. Yeah. They really played good footy and they looked like they'd really turned their season around and and they were going to be real strong top four contenders. Well, here's Nelson bringing it in towards Hume, oh, he copped it in the back. Umpire calls play on as Farmer brings it down that centre corridor and Todd Viney is marked. Now maybe Todd can kick a goal. I thought Hume was a bit stiff not to get a free kick there. Well, it's good to, that they brought Farmer out of that forward position. Just brought him out. He's on the half forward line. He's starting to get a few possessions now. And Darren Hume holding his uh, head and Viney. They badly need, well, they need a quick five or six goals. There's the kick, hits the post. It is not Melbourne's day. Justin Murphy. So uh, Melbourne have kicked one goal seven since quarter time. Well, they've got a chance here. Surely Uze will kick one. Yep. At last. Well, well Melbourne fans, <laughs> they're still waving their flags and everything, but uh, I think that young kid thinks they stink a bit today. Yeah, look, I... I don't think it's um, getting them back in the game or anything, but obviously you never know what happens in footy these days. You can be six, seven, eight goals behind and still turn it around. But Melbourne just don't look like they're going to do that today. Well, back we go to the centre. 13-4 to 5-9. Uh, Duse finally getting a goal to the Demons. Here's Silvani up in the middle. Oh, look at that. Working very, very hard. Gets it to Hickmott. Back to Ratton. A hurry kick to the half forward line. A good contest. Umpire calling play on. Given off by Uze. Further afield, it went to Hopgood. Centre wing. And eventually Hickmott fighting for it down on the boundary line with Ward. But the ball could have been out of bounds on the, the floor. Line. Uh, Simmons did very well there in the centre bounce, just got over Allen. So let's see young Simmons in this uh, ruck contest. He's at the back. So he's rattling, surrounded by demon players. And it'll be another throw in. But gee, look at that scoreboard 82 to 39. There's Glenn Manton who hasn't had a run as he's yet. A bit, he's been a bit stiff. Obviously, the back line here at Carlton's been playing really, really good so today. But uh, he's like the only goal. play who hasn't come on. But it looks like he's warming up now to get back on feet. Thank you, Dipper. Hasn't passed the metal detector test. <laughs> Hume thrown to the ground. Yes, he does a lot of work in the prisons. I'm surprised they let him in with all the metal that he's got hanging out of The umpire's going to ball this up near centre wing. A lot of players around this. Allen gets it down. 
Ragoni, ball jolted out of his arms. Brown. Easy, easy. Three minutes to go to three-quarter time. This is four premiership points wrapped up for the Blues here. And uh, Camparelli's oh, that, trying to... That stupid play, Camparelli. That deserves to be against him. But dead right, the umpire there. Yeah, yep. he, was, he was coming off the ground. I don't think he was too happy. Well, he had no, no reason to stick on. his nose in. Just on his way to the interchange bench. And, uh, yeah, he did a bit of a hop, change step. And went in with his shoulder. Gave it, away the free. The mismatch now. Hopgood on Manton down there. So I have to change that quickly. Well, obviously Hopgood's done a very good job to get a player of the calibre oh. of Capriali off the ground. Hume gave it to Kuda Vettis and he received it back. Lee and Chelly, a very good chase. But again, the kick was good to Andrew McKay. McKay kicks long and wide. Look at big Matty Allen. Oh, he could be playing on the wing, this fella. He hooks it back to Hume. That was great play from the, the big Ruckman. In towards half forward. Steve Phoebe underneath it and takes the mark. Here's kick from behind centre half back. Here comes Brown. Got a hand to it. Couldn't quite take the mark. Robertson flips the ball out. But they've lost it. Well done, Ratton. Very well done. Fraser Brown. Beautiful play to Blues. Hickmott. Brent Ratton. They're coming from everywhere to pat him on the head. That was a losable situation which he turned into a win. Adrian Hickmott. He's played the last three games for the Blues. He missed last year after knee surgery. Just about a forgotten player. David Parkin even thought that his career might have been over. It'd be wonderful if he could kick this goal. He's gone for distance and hooked it. Still in the field of play. Hopgood mops up. Paul Hopgood, a bounce with the left hand. Oh, and then... Just got yeah. it inside the line. He looked up, and there were no Melbourne players yeah. forthcoming. Yeah, it was, so he it's a, it a bit uh, lucky not to have a free kick against him there. Yeah, you well, and I'll tell you what, he nearly he nearly put it out in the fall. What's this? Well, he went for the boundary. Anyway, he gained about 20 metres, so the umpire gave him the benefit. So way out at half forward for the Blues. They've been very, very impressive. Whitnell and Ingerson. Ingerson flicked it with the left hand. That was very well done to Steve Phoebe. You look up, and there's all carton jumpers there. Oh, well played by Beaumont. He did that very well. Low trajectory kick will clear the pack. Still in that danger area. Steve Phoebe on Manton, and the umpire will bounce. They should have been a bit smarter there, Melbourne players, and put the hand in the air. Camparelli having a chance now to uh, reassess his situation, having been benched late in this third quarter. In the last minute of the third term, Wo Woden. Oh, he's given it straight to Brown. Brown pops it up high. Allen again. Almost intercepted by Walsh. Oh, gee, the this Blues are working beautifully. Nelson. Allen might kick his second. They get to him, though. He goes to ground under the tackle by uh, McDonald. Uze went straight for the boundary line. And we'll have a throw in. Currently just working a lot harder to get more players to the fall of the ball to get more players to the contest. Well, half a minute till three quarter time, Allen and Simmons. <laughs> that ball even went behind Hopgood. Now White did well. Matthew Allen again. Hickmott waits underneath it. His teammate got in the way, Fraser Brown. He probably would have marked that. James McDonald. Under Hopgood. Oh. oh, Hopgood's kicked it straight to Allen. Back it comes to Whitnell. He received that from Hickmott. The flyer's there. That's White. And, uh, well, the siren is sound, and I think Melbourne will be relieved because they are playing very ordinary football. And Carlton well on top, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And even just there at the end, you had two Carlton players going up on one Melbourne, and they still got the crumb. Just shows you the different sort of intensity of Carlton are playing at. Well, it's a 43-point lead at the last change to the Blues. They're bouncing back here today in no uncertain terms. Very experienced. Yep, with Silvani and Bradley. Kudafidis. I think they put Silvani. Taking them out of the back line. Umpire Steve McBurney gets us underway for the last quarter. Viney on the turn. He's kicked to centre-half forward. Spoiled by Cooter. It comes to Bradley. 
Well, he just knew to give it that somebody would be there. Franchina, very wide, and gave it too much out of bounds on the full. And the free kick into play will be taken by Daniel Ward, playing just his ninth game. Melbourne put Lagoni down to full forward. Not a great kick by Ward and chopped off by Ratton. So if Ratton is going to lift his game in the last quarter, look out. He had 17 possessions to three-quarter time. So Brett Ratton he does accumulate the ball. Well, that could have been a free kick to Manton against Ward, but the umpire didn't think so. But I think overall the umpiring has been very, very good today. They've let it flow. So the Carlton Interchange bench dipper. We've got Matthew Lapper, Michael Sexton, who's uh, torn a calf, uh, so he won't be playing the rest of the game. And also Scott Camparelli and Justin Murphy. So two boys just have a bit of a rest there. Quality bench. And at three-quarter time, David Parkin, well, I've never seen him so relaxed as James McDonald goes forward, taken by David Swartz. Let's see what Melbourne can do. He goes wide. This is Todd Miney. He puts it up high, hoping someone can take a mark. They've got a chance. Simmons is there and Leon Chelly. And Leon Chelly has chipped in to take the mark and kick from 30. Yeah, they just put Leon Chelly up forward. See if they can get someone who can kick some goals. So Andrew Leon Chelly in the state squad, as is uh, Jeffrey White. And He's been a very consistent player for Both Melbourne over the last three years. He certainly has. And he's, he's, the start of the season was terrific. They need a few goals. Oh, don't tell me he's hit the post from there. Yes. He has. Oh, goodness me. That's he's, a, he's a player that came actually to Melbourne from the old Zabs with uh, James uh, Anthony McDonald. There's a big gang of them in that particular preseason. He's done very well since then. Ronnie Diulio. I reckon he'll be in the coach's votes tonight for the job that he did on Jeff Farmer. Brown. Kick by Brown towards half forward. Ingerson. And the ball bouncing away from both players. Out of bounds. 42 point lead to Carlton. Neil Downer will really now want his team just to play this game out and not give in like they did last week. Well, Carlton have lost three out of their last four and they've been by pretty fair margins. Brown. Gave it too much, and Gergic, who started on the forward line, takes the mark. Carlton's last three losses have been by 50 to Geelong, 41 to St Kilda, and 39 to Port Adelaide. So they're going to turn that around with a, a win of similar size over the Demons. Ingerson at the back edge of the centre square. He's frustrated. This will give them a lot of confidence, Carlton, going into the break. Ward, his kick towards the attacking 50. Good pick up, almost by accident for Schwartz. Back over his shoulder. They've lost it. Cooter's been great. Oh, that is class. Terrific. We, that was like Robert Harvey type stuff then. As he finds Allen, who's been magnificent. Under Ratton. Ratton, a wobbly old kick on the left foot. The bounce over the back. Gergic and Pierce. And Pierce is after starting on the bench, has kicked three goals. What's better start for a Swartz this quarter? Is that lady praying? Or is she I think a she's praying, support? Pete. She's I think she's a Carlton supporter. She would, might want to be praying that they win by 15 goals, Dipper. Well, Manton and Ingerson. Fraser Brown, Ingerson. And it's a, like a rugby scrum in there. It'll be a bounce. There are those moulded rubbers there. And uh, is there any wonder players slip around? That was Glenn Manton, who spent most of the day on the bench. It's pretty tough though, boots on your feet. It's two and a half hours of footy. I used to have terrible problems. Just getting blisters. But these days, the grounds are in such good condition. The sprigs aren't going to penetrate the soil. It's just such a good mat of grass. Mm. And if it's a little bit damp, like it must have been at the start of this game, it must yeah. be very slippery. Yeah, it's very hard to choose a, a screw in when the, when the ground is pretty good on top because it's often quite hard on the knee. Well, there's Todd Viney. He always tries particularly hard. 50 metres out. From the Blues goal, now free kick in that ruck contest, and it looks like it's going yeah. the way of Melbourne. Probably Simmons. Now let me have a look. Yes, it yeah. is. This will be his first possession. I think. So Troy Simmons, he's a left footer. He stabs it across. Steve Phoebe, Ingerson, back to Stephen Phoebe. He drives to half forward, hoping Walsh can take the mark. He can't. Nelson was there, and Hickmark. On to Adam White, 
Here's Whitnell, Whitnell playing on uh, it's a poor kick. A poor kick. Ingerson put himself in front of Hamill. And Ingerson has marked it up. He's kept trying hard there because the Carlton forward line has been flooded with opportunities. Short to Shanahan. He'll have to wait another game before he kicks his first goal. Robertson. Back to Viney. Who's had a go at full forward. Here he is back at half back. Up towards half forward, Schwartz taken off it. Well, Cooter's just looming as nearly uh, pressing Allen for best on ground. He's been great. Bradley's also right up there. Bradley across half back to Manton. Glenn Manton who cooled his heels for the first three quarters. Wide for Brown. Good run, Fraser Brown, late in the game. Gee, they're toying with the opposition now. Nobody's uh, got an opponent near them. Ratten. Well, oh. Ingerson was a little bit too this near on 50. that occasion. Whitnell, and it's 50. I think that was deserved. One up. I no, thought no. the umpire called him back for 50. I thought so too. It wasn't paid. He would have been no, stiff. He would have I been stiff. But yeah. we actually thought that uh, he was going to be a call back then. Yeah, I didn't think See the other. Stiff. Have a look at the umpire. It's pretty late and it was certainly high. Uh, I thought one umpire did pay it though, didn't you, Drew? I did. It wasn't worth 50 though. Well, White might get the goal anyway. He's pretty wide out in front of the social club. Crossed the goal square and rushed over by Simmons for a behind. So the game really fizzing out, as we said, Scott Cambrelli, who was spoken to by David Parker in the three-quarter time, more of a G up. I uh, probably spoke to him about that silly free kick he gave away just before three-quarter time. But he's had a quiet day, Scott Camparelli. Steve Phoebe being urged to kick it quickly. Murphy at the back. Russell Robertson flies over the back. On to Hopgood. Hopgood kicks to a contest. Lee and Shelley was there. Bradley and Francina combining. Here's Adam White. He runs to half forward and he's kicked out in the full. He'd be better off going to the centre centre half forward area when you're in that position. Shanahan will take the penalty. And you know, when games are often slow starting and they're low scoring, they usually finish off with a flurry of goals as the team sort of arm wrestling and get it, it opens up. But today, both teams started with plenty of goals and um, just, just fizzled out. Yep. Actually, the writing was on the wall when Carlton kicked the first five goals of the game before Melbourne even got started. Here's Pierce. That but. They're all over the field, Carlton. Pierce goes across the ground. Beaumont takes the mark. Plenty of run in the Blues leagues, and they're just peeling off, creating space everywhere. Kicked by Beaumont. Kudafiti is now on the forward line. We didn't fly for that one, and Walsh takes the mark. Pretty quiet day for Walsh. It's his third mark and coming up for his eighth disposal. Well, I heard David Parkin interviewed uh, and saying that Melbourne normally played very very well against uh, the Blues well not today Russell Robertson almost had his head taken off in the meantime Beaumont receives a free kick well Melbourne have won the last four games the, the four times they've played Carlton well that would have been when uh, Steins was playing White on to Hickmott you wanted him to say that didn't you Jim no, Kudafides is down the four line oh here's Hamill receiving a hand pass Kicks a goal, it's another one to the Blues. Alan Hamill kicks his second, and this has been one-way one traffic. And this, this is not the way Melbourne want to go into the break. They've really got to finish this game out strongly. Now they're going to have two tough weeks of training. Nice goal there. Aaron Hamill getting his second goal and Carlton's 14th. Actually, Fraser Brown on the hit out and roved his own footy. Oh, great play by Brown. Whitnell, not quite, but oh. Ingerson gave away the Oh, free. that is soft. That is. That is soft. There's no way that was a free kick. Whitnell's played on quickly, but the ball's got to come back. He'll be too far out to score. He's got every right to question that, Jimmy. 
Ingerson arguing his case there with umpire Vince Sercia. Oh, that's no free. He's got a couple of kicks in the back of the head for his trouble. That's a normal contest, isn't yeah, it? Of course it is. Whitnell unloads with a big one. Geez, not a bad kick. Just offline, through for a minor score. And there's Lance Whitnell. And promising young forward, and still only a very, very young kid. And he's got enormous potential. Oh, dangerous kick, but it comes off to Woe Woden from Stephen Phoebe. Here's uh, Stephen's uh, twin brother, Matthew. Beautiful kick, finds Robertson. Russell Robertson, one of those in-between size players. Oh, he's kicked to the centre of the ground. It's a shocking kick. That's almost a throw. It was Manton. Under Murphy, here's Hickmott and Walsh. Hickmott hooked it back. Ward, terrific tackle on Ward. Hickmott, now Murphy, a little chip pass is very, very good to Ratton. Ratton's going to bomb it long to a contest. Pierce in front. Pierce is marked and will kick from about 47 or 8 metres. Whitten's by touch himself touch. at. Uh... Oh, yeah. You can hear the call go up around the ground. Pierce, Pierce, as he led to that ball. Well, he always plays in front, Pierce. He's kicked three. He's a beautiful kick. You watch when he runs in, Drew. I've never seen a bloke that runs in as hard. He, he almost runs in like a 100-metre sprinter when he kicks for goal. It's good communication, too, because Hamill could have probably got a finger to it. Oh, there's his left foot kick. It starts to swing back, but that's uh, behind. He's missed it to the left. It's a hard pocket two to kick goals from with that wing coming across the ground. Three goals, two to Brad Pierce. The three goals are his first goals for the season. Earlier on, he played two games for just two behinds. Melbourne bring the ball out. A lamentable Melbourne. They have kicked just two goals since quarter time. Whitnell goes backwards to Bradley. Oh, brilliant. You just can't lay a hand on Greg Bradley. Murphy out wide to White. A choice of players. Gave it to a contest, though. Hume couldn't take it. McDonald out of defence. Short of half forward. Bradley again. Every time Bradley gets it, the Carlton player gets it next. And it's coming back. It's going to be a relayed free kick to Carlton after Bradley was put down after the ball disappeared. And the relay goes to White. Now to Ratton. Back to White. Kick by White to the 50. Whitnell. Ingerson punches again. Hickmott, a floating ball. I don't know who that was aimed for. Well, let's see what Melbourne can do now. Uze kicks to Todd Barney. Look at McKay after him. Good play by Barney, but he's going to be caught. Oh, good tackling by Carlton. Allows Bradley to lay the hand pass. Thrown away from the ball was McKay. Then he goes back for another effort. And the umpire will come in and bounce almost on centre wing. Good tackle there. I think Todd thought he should have got a free kick, but no way. I think it was a good tackle. Just didn't see it. Just watching there, Jeff Farmer and, and Murphy having a go at each other again. I'd love to know what they uh, what happened there in that first quarter. Just frustration, I think, uh, by uh, both players. McDonald into Matthew Phoebe. He's kicked to centre half forward. Robertson might be too far out to score. 55 or six metres. White. Jeff White, welcome back. Well, you picked it there. Dibber, you said put him in the forward line. He can take a mark. And they've done that. But it's really hard, though, at this, this time of the game when uh, I was watching Murphy was pointing to the scoreboard to Jeff Farmer. And really, there's not much of a comeback from that. Nah. Look up there. Well, Brett Ratton coming off the ground. So loud applause. 22 possessions. Another top game in midfield. White for just his second kick of the game. 47 metres. Goal! Well, Melbourne haven't... Well, Rugoni's their only multiple goal scorer. That's White first. And the only other scorers are Uze, Swartz and Gurgic. As you can see here, nice pass there from... Phoebe to Robertson who's suddenly given Melbourne a little bit of a lift presenting himself. Beautiful kick. And that's the sort of a pass that you want to give to your forwards. Something that they haven't been able to do all day. 
Well, Carlton have been uh, terrific. They really have. Their back line has been superb, and particularly with Kudafetis doing so well there. Simmons for the half. Oh, there's Kudafetis at the back. Was it a mark to Schwartz? It was. A juggling attempt, and the umpire has paid it. And Kudafetis arguing. He reckons he got a hand to that. Umpire John Harvey, though, saying, let's have a look. One, he might have got the first touch, but if the man's in front, the man's in front, he deserves to get the uh, benefit of the doubt. It is interesting we talk about Marks and Melbourne not being able to take any in the forward line. Well, they've just taken two and having two shots for goal. But David Schwartz is kicking for his second. He's tried hard. From 47 oh. metres, it's a low trajectory kick. And Silvani says, thank you very much. There and wasn't even anyone in on the goal line. That's a shock. Diulio. Finds Kudafidis, who has been a delight to watch today. He's a very skillful player. McKay, one of seven Carlton players, have had more than 20 possessions. Melbourne have had only one, Todd Viney. Ball flipped up. Oh, great hands by the Carlton players. Franchina. Oh, oh Dipper was in there. Just saved him. Well played, Dip. Ward out of defence, but chopped off. Brown and Pierce on the lead. You wouldn't bet against Brad Pierce kicking this. He loads up. Oh, yes. You <laughs> bet against him. Get a collected. Right shock. Absolute shocker. I think I was high on the ball. Should be my free, I think. <laughs> Why didn't you so, do your. Tell you, Dipper would have been. Uh, Dipper, where was he? A couple of those shirt fronts in his time. Dipper, where was the elbow? <laughs> be nice, Peter. <laughs> Centering kick by Whitnell. Brown lurking dangerously. Manton had hardly seen any action today. Out of defence, Walsh. Talking about Walsh, should ask Walsh where that elbow is. Jimmy, I'll come upstairs in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you, you you chased me in 1987 and you ran in front of Gary Bacanara. You know, my, my, my first vision of AFL football was when you uh, collected Walsh with that elbow of yours. Uh, well, there's a big knock by Simmons. Getting this last quarter in the ruck. Camparelli, Beaumont, now Robertson. He's got it, Russell Robertson. He swings onto the right and belts it long with a 60 metre kick. Oh, push in the back. Should have been against Viney, in my opinion. Then he copped it across the head himself. He pushed McKay right out then. There's oh, a little nudge, maybe. So Todd Viney, he can't make the distance, I wouldn't think. He's got to kick it about 63 metres. Trying to get a shepherd here. Now he's got kick one. it in short. Oh, here's a mark to White, uncontested. So it should have been a free kick though to Silvani. Schwartz just went straight up. Shepherded Silvani yet. Well, he's so saying that, that to the lead. umpire. Oh, yeah, it's and very... a three umpire system has got to pick up on things. No, like it's that. very blatant. It was even a nod. I saw, was watching Schwartz and he nodded at White and he said, here, go. So Jeff White will kick for his second from uh, about 35 metres directly in front. And some belated goals coming up to Melbourne. But, gee, they have been very, very ordinary today. After a poor performance last week as well, both at this ground. Jeff White, beautiful kick for a goal. He certainly can kick a goal. He just hasn't had enough kicks today. Just three. Yeah, a very disappointing day for Jeff. But at least he's given them something there towards the end of the game. And this is what Neil used to always say. You've just got to play the game out. You've got to restore a bit of pride. As we see Melbourne just peaking back a little bit. Seven goals behind. Melbourne have kicked two goals to one in this last quarter. Both the Demons' goals. Hey, Simmons, he's not a very tall player for a Rockman, but he's he's got a huge leap. He's getting over Allen and, there again. And Jim, there's some players in certain sides you cannot afford to have out. And I reckon Melbourne is one side that just cannot afford to have David Neitz out of that side. He just means so much to them up forward. Yep, absolutely. He's the guy who can kick your five or six goals. And he also takes a lot of contested marks. Today, yep. Melbourne have only been able to take 15 and uh, 37 uncontested to Carlton's 80. 
Camparelli trying to make up for being benched earlier on. The hand pass to Brown. Kicked by Fraser Brown to the top of the goal square. Manton! He was robbed from behind by Ingerson. Play on says the umpire. Ingerson wide to Gergic. His kick clears the 50. Bradley caught at the back. Robertson good mark. The hand pass in. Hopgood. Phoebe on the cricket oh. pitch area. Rigoni back to Phoebe. Straight up the ground. Well, Farmer had his back to the ball. Comes to the front. McDonald hand pass. Viney. Now a chance for Farmer. And he gets his only goal of the day. Well, it mightn't finish up being his only goal, but certainly his first deep into the last quarter. Yeah, this is the sort of football that Melbourne should have been playing a long time ago in this game. You know, they're kicking goals for Marks. And Starting to get a couple of crumbs on the forward line. As you see here, clever play by Farmer to pull Delulio off the ball and then get back up. And good handball from Viney. But he won't be too happy tonight, Farmer. Well, Jeffrey Farmer has kicked his first, and that just says a lot for the guy you saw in, in, on picture there, Ron Delulio. He has worn him like a glove and has played a fantastic game. Simmons is showing a bit here. That is very, very good play by this second, young player. It's the second clear, so the centre. Yep. James McDonald, Russell Robertson. He's got it. Oh, well played by Robertson. Oh, he goes to get his own ball here. Then he loses the ball in the tackle. Simmons again working hard. Centre wing is Manton. Oh, look at the pace of Camparelli. Went to kick it off the ground and missed. Still Camparelli. And eventually it's out that he gained about 40 metres. Blues have had a big win, but I don't think Scott Camparelli is all that happy. Not happy with Hopgood. Not happy perhaps with his own game. We saw him benched earlier on. The throw in. Ingerson wins. Brown still going right to the end. Fraser Brown. Allen. And at the back, Uze. Kicks deep outside the 50. Good mark, Rigoni. Well, chance for a Melbourne goal here. Phoebe. Viney. Oh, should have gobbled the mark. Wodin there to help. Viney pushed to the ground, no whistle. Wodin gets it out. McKay for Carlton. Franchina for the Blues. On the rebound now. Lappin. Lappin from centre wing. Too high for Whitnell. Excellent mark, Ingerson. Yeah, it's been a good battle, though. Right? Yeah, another good mark. Now, Uze receives from Ingerson. He drives it long. McKay, a terrific mark in front of Viney. She's been good. Swartz 17 kicks. Happy. Well, 18 kicks and six handballs. Bradley's been like a general down there across half back. Beautiful kick as usual to Pierce. Pierce with that beautiful kicking style into Allen. He's having a bit of a rest up on the forward line at the moment. Here's Uze again. Now Ragoni, who we know can thump the ball. This time he goes short. Woe Woden, a good mark. No, not quite the hang on to McDonald. Now Matthew Phoebe. The free kick was paid in a then advantage. Matthew Phoebe inside 50. Bombs a goal and I think it's a goal. It cleared the line. Yes. Well, Melbourne now just, you know, making the score a bit more respectable. And just what Neil Dano would, would, would have wanted from his team is to get a bit of a lift and start to play like they can play. But I think Wawoden should have been paid the mark, but the umpire uh, called play on. Phoebe got the ball, took his time, had a couple of bounces and balanced. It was a beautiful left foot kick. Matthew Phoebe back after ankle problems, kicks his first goal for the day. One goal, one for him. Carlton have managed just one goal in the last quarter. I don't think David Parkland will be too happy with the way they've finished the game out. Forge hand pass, a bit too slick for Robertson. And that will be a ball up. So in the last quarter, Melbourne have kicked four goals to one after trailing by 43 at three-quarter time. A lot of players around this. Schwartz took a week to get rid of it. And he's holding it. That fire's been bowled over again. 
That's two today. Harvey went down once and Circe has gone down now. Kudafidis with the free kick. Wide to Silvani, wider still to Hickmott, former Geelong player. Hickmott, Lappin, into White. Oh, this is wide open for the Blues. Surely they'll get a goal out of this. The kick to centre half forward. Pierce under pressure. And they have turned it over. Ragoni, Phoebe, McDonald. Good, Mark Silvani. Well, he really loves it down there in defence, Stephen Silvani. On to Manton. Further afield to his teammate there in Murphy. Now Bradley's gone down the forward line. Craig Bradley. Oh, what a great kick by Bradley to find White. That was magnificently weighted to hit him on the chest. Every time Bradley's disposed of the ball today, a Carlton player's got it. Well, White will kick from directly in front for his second, and he has goal. Well, at last a goal for the Blues. They kicked one earlier in the quarter from Hamill, and that's just their second for the term. Just a casual one-hander by Bradley, and look at this kick. In a lot of football you see these days, you realise how many players do turn it over and kick it to the opposition. And Bradley just makes it look so easy to kick to a man in the same colours as he's wearing. Ragoni bumped by Beaumont. There's the siren. Good time. A comfortable win to the Blues. They started well and were never headed. A very important win too. In their four and four, they go into the break five and four in Melbourne. Four and five. So a really crucial game for both teams. But uh, an extra special win for Carl. Beating Melbourne, who probably been in better form earlier in the season. Well, the margin at the end was 33 points. Remember back they were 5-1 to nothing. So they led by 31 after about 12 minutes. That was the margin of the game. Yeah. Here's Dipper. Yeah, thanks very much. We were one uh, play who... Uh, made so it's great to see you back playing football. Yeah, yeah it's good, good to be back. I've been a bit frustrated with form the last few weeks. and. Uh, it was good to get the opportunity when I come on, and I tell you what, it helps to kick the one, the one goal that counted. You know, the last couple of weeks I've come on, missed that one, and I've just buried my head. So it was just good to get that one through. The boys started really well, pretty intense the first 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, no, it was great. Rats, Brownie, all the on balls, you just, you know, they've been great this year. They've done a lot for us. So hopefully we can continue on from here. And the half back line with uh, Craig Bradley back there, he's just a uh, general, isn't he? Sensational, and Sauce down there as well. You know, good experience. It's, yeah, it's good. It's just good to see the boys playing so well. Great to see you back, mate. Good boy. Yeah, welcome back to Brad Pierce, who today kicked three goals, too. First goals for the season. Carlton fans are happy. I'm not sure it was an absolute guilt edge victory, but uh, once they had that initial uh, break at the start of the game, perhaps they haven't gone on with it properly, Jim. Yeah, no, I didn't think so, because they let Melbourne kick those three to, as a reply, but really, Melbourne never really got back in the game. And Carlton, while it wasn't a great game of football, but they did enough early in the game to win it. And uh, Melbourne, while they came back near the end just to make the scores look respectable, really, they've got a hell of a lot of work to do. But it's good to see Kudafidis playing some good football. And Brown back in there, they, who they really missed. And uh, Silvani having the luxury of being able to put him back. And you've got some players up forward like Pierce and Whitmer and that kicking goals. It just makes such a difference to your team. Off they go in front of the Carlton faithful. Ronnie Giulio, what a job he did on Jeff Farmer. Well, they definitely had the shakes of the Blues, having lost three out of four coming into today. And that was so important. That was one of your classical eight-point games. Oh, yeah, and look, a player like Alan, you know, he's had a couple of good weeks now, and he'll probably pick up some Brownlow votes for his display today. But he really did take the game to White, who's, you know, known for his high leaping and long taps out of the centre. And uh, White, you know, in, in the Victorian squad, I thought Alan did a very, very good job on him and got plenty of possessions and uh, even kicked a goal early. We'll see the rooms here and uh, viewers in Adelaide who have seen inside the Crows facility at Football Park. This is the great and famous Carlton and you'll realise just how much the Melbourne clubs have slipped behind the interstaters. 
tin lockers, basically, Pete. So the yes, but they had they had atmosphere, and you could still smell that liniment, Drew, and that's the main thing. And if you can smell that liniment and the atmosphere, look at that. Well, they're one of the few clubs that have you know multiple players played over 300 games. Yep. And uh, when you've got that, it really puts some history. I remember I was over watching the Crows. I was in the rooms. I was doing the vilification talks and. You know, players' names on lockers because they played 50 games. Yeah. You know, yet most teams you wouldn't get up on a locker until you played 150. Here we go. <laughs> Get a Guernsey. They didn't look too happy. You know, sometimes when you win games like this, teams are really, really pumped, but yeah. uh, they just got it out, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they didn't look to. But still, they've got the big win. Well, it was a 33-point victory, 15-7-97, to 9 goals, 10-64 at Optus Oval.